Welcome to the first match between Art of Turtle and Dark Matter, we, a.k.a. Halcyon, who is a Canadian turn player, upper right-hand corner. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Art of Turtle as the purple Zerg. I'm excited to see this group because both these players I know are fairly, fairly competent. Art of Turtle streams, so check out his channel on Twitch. He is in between, I think, usually like 1800, 1900-ish. Um, has a wide variety. He has shown, I think, up to this stage, some ladder anxiety here and there. So I think his play in BSL is variable, but <clears throat> outside of the, the recognizable names, I believe this is my favorite here is, is I believe he and Dentarg are my two favorites um, to come out of this group. We'll see. But Halcyon is kind of that X factor where I think he can throw a wrench in all of that because he's also a very, very good player. Kind of lumped him in like he's North American, right? I don't know if he... Um, I actually am not sure what his MRR is, but I've seen him play around. I've seen him on ladder. I've seen people uh, play against him. And I know that he is also a competent Terran player. <clears throat> anyway, a lot of pressure if you hear this on streams like you're competent. I'm relying on you to sh give us a show. This is going to be on Eclipse. And yeah, the other side of the bracket. In other news, special shout out to Bowie who just joined uh, Twitch. But he actually saw the Fallout videos. And for people on Twitch and wondering, I am thinking of starting up the Fallout New Vegas Choose Your Own Adventure stuff. I'm going to do that mostly on Twitch. I'm going to do that after I come back from vacation. So early August. If you're interested in that, let me know. I'm still kind of doing some planning. I'm not, the problem is, is I can't do as much planning as I did for the first one. For the first one, I did like initial like playthrough or two and kind of explored a lot of the areas and got an idea of what I wanted to do. <clears throat> and then, uh, and kind of, you know, played it loosely and went from there. For New Vegas, I had thought about it a lot over a period of time, but I have lost all of those thoughts now in the ether, I've realized. Should have written things down. Looks like we're seeing a 12th hatch, by the way. For Art of Turtle, he's going to go ahead and grab his assimilator, his assimilator, his extractor to follow this up. SCV Scout moving forward for Dark Matter, but... I think it can still be fun and I uh, still have some ideas that I'll be able to execute in that space. So look for that in the near future. I want to do that on a regular basis. The question is, is when right now my schedule is in flux because of COVID and going back to work and all that sort of thing. And we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, the map is eclipse, but and I'm, hopefully I didn't like miss say that. Uh, I'll stop looking at Twitch chat now to focus a little bit better. Drone Scout attacking that SCV a little bit off. Of, and we're seeing immediately, wow, very bold. Without even an initial Marine, seeing that 12 hatch, opting to go for Command Center before. And I believe this is going to pay off for Halcyon. So this is kind of the adjustment to build order we're going to see. I think because he saw a low larva count. Because he saw a lack of larva in threat, he realized there's not going to be initial Zerglings and no Zergling threat. So very quickly plopping down that Command Center as an adjustment. I like that play. Art of Turtle going for a two hatch build and I'm I think he's going to go for what the I think he's going to try to transition into crazy zerg which is if you're wondering what that is these days check out Artosis' stream he really hates this build it's kind of the current meta I would say and ladder in general which is you open up two hatch layer you play a lot of mutas your initial goal is to actually try to apply pressure keep the marines back and just keep that medic marine count low and secure your third gas and once you have that third gas you shell up plop down a bunch of sunken colonies and just get to uh, get to Defilers. And once you have Dark Swarm, you're in a much more secure position. You can start building a lot of other things up. And basically, you kind of have a, an initial map play from there. And it's very difficult for Terran to... It's kind of like the equivalent of Terran going up against the 2-1 build, where if you overcommit economically, you end up getting annihilated. And if you overcommit and you're not able to... You basically end up not taking a third and end up starved out against... Potentially like Lurker Lurker Ling with Defiler or Ultra Ling with Defiler. Anyway, we see the Spire. SCV Scout still alive, so it's actually going to see the Spire timing regardless. Art of Turtle really just pressing drones, drones, drones. Doesn't want to overproduce on the Zerglings. He is getting an initial handful of Zerglings. He has this Overlord hanging out over that corner to see if there was a Marine move out. Just five Marines and no Bunker on the front here for Halcyon. Just now grabbing a Bunker. But... Has the engineering bay well in place. He's already got that academy working on stim and weapons one to deal with this initial attack. And here we see that third hatchery being taken up on the ramp. Sometimes we'll see a transition back. Usually it's like the timing with the transition back to get lurkers in place. We see six circlings moving towards the front. This is kind of the the key moments though, is as this initial mutalisk harass 
is field it is, is how effective are those mutalisks? And that's kind of the key moment. And I feel like it's up to the Zerg more than it's up to the Terran. The Terran just sits back and does their thing, right? They they have the Medic Marines in position, a little bit of a, a supply cap here for Halcyon, um, getting that supply depot sitting at 36 supply. Does is getting his second barracks and does have some Medic Marines out on the field. But you can see the, the initial five mutalisks come out just about as that, that initial Medic Marine force is in place to do something. And so I feel like this is the key moment. So we'd have the six Zerglings, it looks like eight Zerglings actually, out on the front to engage this. The Zerglings peeking forward to see if that army is making their way across. But this is kind of the, the strong portion of the map. Is it's like, okay, this and this is the deciding factor, is, is how effective is this Mutalist Harass? How, how negated is the Mutalist Harass? And is this third base up and this third base get established? So on top of this, so we got a turret in the main, so additional turret being placed right there. No, two turrets kind of in that back corner, so... Halcyon shelling up and getting an additional turret. Uh, so three turrets at the natural expansion. It looks like two turrets here. No turrets. Oh, sorry. One turret. Missed that one over the barracks. Well-timed. The Mutalisk is moving forward, finding nothing to attack. But what this does do... Oh, needs to be careful here. Taking a few free shots. Six Mutalisk is going to be able to get, at least get an SCV there. So at least a decent initial harass. But the critical thing is, is as this is happening, he's got that hatchery up. And he is starting to get that third gas. Now working on Lurker Tech. And this is kind of that transition moment here. Is can the Mutalists keep the Medic Marines back while you get Lurkers up? And if you can get Lurkers, particularly on ramp maps, if you can get Lurkers to uh, on this ramp, it becomes very difficult to evict the, the Zerg. At which point they can start droning up and they can play more aggressively from there. Picking off one turret on the corner. Again giving Halcyon something to think about. A Compsat to try to catch some extra damage. And in fact gets an additional Mutalist out of it. So still sitting at 8. But you can see, still pinned back, still worried about this RAS, eating a little bit of free damage right there. Third gas is up. They're not quite mining yet. And this is the difficult part for Zerg is just doing all this micro. The Zerglings peeling in with the Mutalists. If he can wipe out this Medic Marine Force, that would be absolutely huge. And it looks like he is going to be able to actually take it back, doing some initial damage. But with that level 1 weapons upgrade, really melting these Mutalists. So they're, they're fairly damaged on the front. We'll see if more Mulists are produced to support this. We are seeing more Mulists out, and we do see an initial Hydralisk out on the field. Lurker Tech a little bit delayed. But now, with honestly, with the damage done to the Medic Marine Force, it looks like Art of Turtle might have some map control. If he just doesn't straight up fly his Mutalisks over this Medic Marine Force, needs to gather them to engage this. And you can see this is kind of the portion where he just wants to keep these Medic Marines back, loses another Mutalisk, some nice micro by Halcyon, really engaging this well. But yeah, he wants to contain this force, make sure it stays away from his third as long as possible until he can get lurkers in place and somehow drone up in the midst of this. He's doing a great job of, of executing this at this stage. Comparatively, and the, there you see the Queen's Nest, comparatively, we have the four barracks up. We have a factory being plopped down. The engineering base silent at this stage. And Halcyon moving out towards that natural expansion. There are no sunken colonies right there. I don't think Art of Turtle even needs a sunken colonies at this stage if he can just get... A couple uh, Hydralisks and some Mutalisks out on the front. Art of Turtle needs to be careful because still no Sutton Colony. and Still no uh, Lurker being produced. Just relying on flat Mutalisks. But, uh, but Halcyon moving forward aggressively has a 10 supply lead. And this is a formidable attack force. But hold position Lurker. Brilliant play from Art of Turtle. I didn't even see it on the minimap because of the shading there. Had hold position Lurkers out in midfield. Tempted the Medic Marines into that... Lurker, at which point he unleashed Hell. And now some Zerglings in the follow-up going to again clear that Medic Marine Force out. And now Halcyon in a lot of trouble. Losing all these Medic Marines out on the front. Art of Turtles like, I don't really need these Mutalisks. I've got my third gas. I've got my Queen's Nest down. I've got my Hive on the way. Just pressing that Lurker forward. And the Lurker plus the Mutalisks. Oh, is he just going to be very cheeky? Actually moving the Lurker all the way back is going to end up losing it. Through, kind of donating units right here, getting a little bit too aggressive. Feeling pretty strong here. So now he's going to be able to get the Lurkers at the third base. He's going to be able to get Lurkers on his front. And between that and the six Mutalisks he still has in the ground and all these Zerglings. Ooh, he needs to be careful with these Overlords, though. Um, he's in an, a really strong position. Starport, double Starport being built for Halcyon. This feels kind of late. He really needed to be, especially against this style with the third already established and the hive mostly on the way he needs to get a science vessel count to combat this and also be able to build some semblance of a medic marine army is going to be able to catch an overlord right there actually art of turtle saving it art of turtle putting on a clinic all of a sudden using the lurkers and the mutalists to box out and save that overlord 
See if he realizes these overlords have been misrallied. Uh, that could be detrimental at a really key moment. This is kind of what happens to Arter Turtle, I feel like, in a lot of these situations. He plays really, really well and then just makes one critical mistake like this. Um, and then ends up running into a lot of trouble. Again, you can see being very aggressive, just trying to keep Halcyon back, is losing a lot of Zerglings as a result. Not fully saturated here at the third. Does have that third gas, which is a critical component. Is now getting that Defiler mound up. And does have that Evolution Chamber in place, getting some Scourge. He's actually building Scourge before the even first Science Vessel's out. Science Facility is still being built. And now Art of Turtle basically sealing Halcyon in his own base. And things are looking grim. Looking grim uh, for him. The Overlords fortunately wandering up before any Medic Marine Force is uh, peeling out. This is a huge amount of Lurkers. If these Lurkers... And here's the thing. As soon as Art of Turtle... Oh, continuing to press forward. I think Art of Turtle is overplaying this. He's just being a little bit too aggressive here in this mid-game. Lost all of his Mutalisks there. Is able to burrow just out of sight range. He's going to be able to pound away at this bunker. But if he just waits for a Defiler... If he just waits for a Defiler, as soon as he puts down Swarm... This game's over because he's got a huge amount of Lurkers in this natural expansion. He doesn't need to press this at this stage. He just needs to wait a half second for a Defiler. Instead, it feels like he's donating Lurkers here on the front, but still pressing forward into this, getting a lot of damage done. The Medic Marines are being obliterated. Still no Science Festival to speak of, and this game's over. Arter Turtle's done it. He's breached the natural expansion without Defilers, and if this wasn't enough, Defilers are going to be on the way. Yeah, the natural expansion is obliterated, so Arter Turtle playing this style really well, continuing to be aggressive and trying to press up into the ramp, get on top of the bunkers. And I, again, I'm worrying that Art of Turtle is just being a little bit too aggressive here, but it's still going to pay off, at least in this first round. Marines continue to get obliterated. And more Zerglings and more Lurkers pressing up. There is a Science Vessel, but there's no Medic Marines to support this. A single Wraith coming out to go ahead and try to pick off some overlords. There are a lot of overlords that are on the front to kill. But with these lurkers planted on top of the barracks, as soon as the marines spawn, they're going to get wiped out. And there's GG from Dark Matter, aka Halcyon. We'll move on to game two, but well executed from Arter Turtle in game one.